Sure. We're an advisory and consulting firm that's based in San Francisco uh, and New York and Miami. Uh, we have been in the region now three times in the last six months and uh, really are focused uh, globally on creating uh, more uh, education awareness and training on crowdfunding, both rewards-based crowdfunding as well as equity and debt-based crowdfunding. And can you let us know what, you know what attracted you to the region in the past three years? Uh, really, it's it's the growth of, of the of the space. Uh, we, you know, my first time in the region was in Dubai in December for speak. I was speaking at the Global Entrepreneurship Summit, uh, and even in the last seven months since then, uh, the amount of change that's occurred in the ecosystem has been really amazing. I think there's a tremendous opportunity here in the region for growth, for entrepreneurship. There's so much energy and, and time and resources being put behind it. Uh, that we think that crowdfunding can be a great complement, whether it's rewards-based or equity-based, uh, to support those entrepreneurial efforts. And uh, which industries do you think are you know the the, the strongest or the segments in the in the ecosystem here, and uh, which are you know the ones that you would like to see you know improved? Yeah, I mean, I think I think you know I, I, it's been really impressive to see what's going on in the e-commerce and gaming spaces. Uh, I think that uh, there's a lot of interesting products that are being uh, being launched. Uh, excited to see uh, Zumal launch as a, a rewards-based crowdfunding platform uh, out of Beirut, and so I think that's that's really exciting. Uh, I think that uh, you know there's a ton of ton of innovation that's, that's happening, and I think that one of the things I heard in the session yesterday that I really agree with is you know uh, you c there's 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 innovation that's coming out of you know, new ideas, but there's also a lot of innovation that takes place. Uh, in in localizing uh, or customizing a solution that may be from another region. Okay, and can you also you know, talk about the not so strong markets, maybe? Well, I think one of the one of the areas of of, uh, of opportunity when we, uh, is is in is in early stage funding. I mean, we, we're building a lot of capacity in the region now for entrepreneurs, a lot of training, a lot of events, a lot of mentorship. Uh, but one of the things that you know I hear at these events that I attend now is just that. But you know, finding early stage investors is really difficult. It's really a challenge. Uh, and so I think that one of the opportunities for crowdfunding is to come in and fill that void, to offer new investors the opportunity of to, to make investments in early stage companies uh, and to be able to participate in, in the growth of the SME market. And if we could, can we compare crowdfunding you know, to traditional funding? Maybe you know, talk about the benefits of crowdfunding and maybe the drawbacks of it uh, you know, compared to you know, traditional funding. Well, with, you know, with traditional funding, I mean, I, I think I want to be really clear that, you know, we're not saying that, that, that crowdfunding is going to replace angels. It's not replacing VCs. Uh, it's, it, it's a hybrid model. And what we see is the ability for crowdfunding to actually uh, – there's a lot of the technology that's being delivered and created for crowdfunding that will actually be adopted by angel groups, angel networks, and also by VCs. Because it, what the, the technology does is it makes those investments more transparent, uh, easier to complete, and, and, and just more robust. And so I think that is really a, a one of the opportunities is for it just adds to the ecosystem of funding and adds a new funding source. I think it's really important that the entrepreneurs know that raising money on crowdfunding isn't an easy way to raise crowdfunding because anytime you're raising money, it's, it's, it's a challenge. Uh, but it's a new, it's a new avenue uh, to be able to raise money, whether it's rewards or equity. Okay. I also want to ask you, I also want to compare, you know, the local startup scene to the, to the, to the states and maybe Europe. Uh, like, are we are we on par? Are we you know are we catching up, or is it, or do you think it's just maybe not a good uh, measure to just compare? You know, because um, the way it's been done here recently is that they we, we they try to hit the same ben benchmarks as in the states. So maybe you know e-commerce boom, and then they wait for here the e-commerce e boom, and they say that listen, you know, like uh, we still saw that market. So do you think it's fair to compare, and where are we at if it is fair? To compare? I mean, we're all human beings, and we all compare ourselves to each other. So that's just kind of that's kind of natural, I guess. Um, and so certainly I think comparing to other regions is important to kind of see what's, what are the trends in other places and which ones of those are appropriate for, for this region. But one of the things I think is really interesting is l looking at how can we find spaces where the, uh, uh, this region can leapfrog over other regions in, in development, in, 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 in entrepreneurship. And I think crowdfunding is one of those opportunities uh, you know, that, 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 that can happen there. And so I think creating new models that are appropriate for this region and, and, and taking new technologies. I just met with a company this morning that's doing a um, Sharia-compliant uh, debt product that they're going to be doing uh, in crowdfunding. It's very interesting. And so I think those kind of innovations uh, and, and are, really, are really fascinating. I think provide an opportunity for a leapfrog over, over other regions. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, Jason. Thank you, Thank you for your time.